What's up everyone, back with another Mental Monday. As you guys know, I was at the, the Super 32 tournament last week and I got so much motivation for Mental Mondays. I, I, could, do, I could do like 10 in a row right now because I saw so many things that kids need to improve on. And the other thing is you guys give me motivation. I can't tell you how many parents come up to me and say thank you for the Mental Mondays. It really helps a lot. And obviously there's not a lot of people in the wrestling space talking about the mental aspect despite the fact that about people say about 90% of winning in wrestling is the mental side, right? But no, no, one's, no one's really talking about it. Very few people are talking about it. Um, and so the first one I'm going to talk about, and I'm going to, I'm going to, so Super 2 is going to be the basis of a few topics coming up here. The first one I'm going to talk about is body language. Um, I don't think that a lot of young wrestlers understand the importance of body language. And that, that could mean as little as just what's on your face, right? How does your face look? Are you, are you pouting? Are you sad? Um, cause you know what the most effective face is, is that stone cold killer look, right? Where it, it's blank. So your opponent doesn't know. They don't know that your lungs are burning and your legs are tired. They don't know that you're thinking, oh crap, how am I going to come back from this five point deficit? They don't know that you just got shook by the referee's call. They don't know, right? And, and frankly, when, when you have a stone cold killer that you're facing, that kind of shakes the opponent, right? When nothing affects them, it affects the opponent. And that's not even like, we're not even getting into like oh, shoulder slump hands on the knees, all these, all these other things that can give your opponent more motivation because right, really, and I, I talked about this a couple weeks ago when I talked about um, being in shape, right, or, or faking like you're in shape or whatever you want to talk, not, not losing because you're tired, okay? It's not you versus you. It's not you versus you. It's you versus them. It's you versus your opponent. And so a lot of what's going to affect someone is when one guy's getting really tired, if the other guy looks like they're really tired, they're going to say, okay, I can deal with this a little longer than him. Okay. But if you're getting really tired and I know this cause I, I'm, I'm a, I'm an expert in mental warfare. When the other guy's getting tired and they see you're stone faced and they see nothing is affecting you. They're like, Oh my God, this guy's like a robot and it freaking takes them down a couple pegs. And they said, Oh my God, he's not getting tired. He's not getting shook by anything. How am I going to win this match? And then all of a sudden they get a lot more tired. And then all of a sudden they do something stupid. And then all of a sudden they go to the back easy. And I can tell you, uh, one of the reasons I was able to get so many pins as I did was obviously I was an effective pinner. But number two is people started doing dumb stuff. When they realized I wasn't going to get tired, when they realized I wasn't going to stop bringing the heat, when they realized I wasn't going to stop coming forward, they te generally tended to make really big mistakes. When people make really big mistakes, you can capitalize off those mistakes and get pins. So high school kids, you have to understand that body language is important. Your opponent mentally is keying off what you're showing him. Now, every once in a while, we'll have a good faker. Like, you know, uh, Yalos Bon Rodriguez, he's a very good faker. You know, he fakes, he plays possum, and then boom, and then he explodes on you, right? There's, there's a few of them. I think Ja'Cory Teamer does a little bit, too. Um, there's these people who use body language to their advantage, right? Which is very, very, very intelligent on, on their part because they realize what they're doing, and they're using it as, as a ploy to catch you off guard, right? Very smart on their part. Um, but for the most part, we'll say 95% 95 of people who act tired are actually really, really, really tired and have no intention of playing possum with you or catching you in a bad situation, okay? So most people who act tired are tired. And if you show them that stone-faced, they're, they're going to take down a few pegs and you're going to be able to start turning it on, start scoring a lot of points, you're going to catch them doing something stupid and you put them on the back. And so body language is important. Don't, do not let anyone else tell you otherwise. Okay, so learn how to start learning how to be. I have one guy who used to call it shark face. I think that's kind of a funny term, but it is kind of it is kind of a, a good way to think about it. Is you don't know what's up. Well, you know what sharks think. The shark has the same face every single time. So you need to start developing that shark face, that stone face, that that face that is not affected by anything um, negative, positive, whatever. You're just gonna come forward. You're like a freaking robot. You're you're here to destroy, pin, and score points. Okay, that's all I got for you this Monday. Body language is important. Do not forget that. It's very, very, very important.